Hey guys, some of you may remember a video about an old brewery that was very old brewery that had been shot up during World War II by an American fighter jet because it was being used to keep ammunition. So just down the road from there, there's this area. And during the Edo period, so between 400 years and 150 years ago, this area was, there was lots of breweries making beer and sake. So these warehouses here next to the rivers were used to keep the beer and sake and transfer it to boats that came up the river here to collect it and take it off around Japan, including off to Tokyo itself. So these guys, this area was famous for beer and sake and a special type of sake, like a vinegar sake that they used to make that was used in the very famous sushi rolls that were made in Tokyo at the time. So sort of a bit of an obscure thing to be famous for, but this area was famous for that as well as the sake and the beer. So amazingly, so many of these buildings in this little area are still in really good condition. So recently the city here spent a little bit of money because it was just these buildings were just being used as they always had been for warehousing uh, recently not for the sake and the beer use recently for other stuff but they just always been used for for warehouses and nobody really give it gave it much thought but recently the city decided that these old buildings were worth uh, looking at so they spent a little bit of money around this area and just tidied it up the area itself a little bit as far as the paving and as far as uh, pedestrian access and that sort of thing just to make a little bit sort of uh, show their appreciation of the uh, of the history here but basically nothing special just these buildings have always been used and 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 they're still being used and and a lot of them are still really original so they just sort of coat them with their with their paint every every you know <laughs> 20 30 years and uh, keep using them so again another example of uh, feeling of time travel in Japan so these this video will go on the castles and old buildings playlist see the old storehouse there with the white walls that's a little bit more secure that one that would have been used for something a little bit more valuable than these other normal black warehouses maybe they had the special sake in there but yeah those of you who might have missed that brewery the old brewery video that's worth looking at uh, one wall is all shot up with big bullet holes from uh, an American fighter that came down to try and it was an old brewery but it was being kept they were using it for keeping uh, uh, ammunition and explosives in it so the the fighter jet was trying to blow it up but um, didn't actually manage to do any damage to it except the outside of the wall but the damage is still there so that's an interesting video so that video and this video will be on the castles and old buildings playlist which obviously includes other videos of old castles and an old village old gusho village and a variety of other old and interesting places so if you're into looking at old Japanese buildings and old Japanese stuff that would be the video for you the castle on that playlist is actually uh, one of the two oldest standing castles in Japan there's some debate about that I have been to another castle that they claimed was the oldest original condition castle in Japan so there's a bit of debate about that but um, uh, Himeji Jo is the the biggest castle uh, biggest and most famous castle in Japan the one that's uh, World Heritage listed in Himeji but uh, it's it's been renovated over the years they've done a few things to it whereas the one on the playlist there is original so fortunately unfortunately in Japan it is hard to find original old castles because a lot of them were, were obliterated during World War Two. so there is a lot of uh, copies they've rebuilt a lot of copies sometimes you'll travel to a castle in Japan and walk in the walk in the door and find the walls are made of concrete because at some stage they've uh, they've rebuilt it which is a bit sad but there is a lot of old places if, if ever I come across an area like this where there is uh, old buildings that are in original condition they're the ones that I, I really try to get because the uh, the rebuilds and the and the copies are, are okay they're interesting you know even the, if you go up into a copy 
I've been in some copy castles before and you go up to the top of the copy castle and it's still interesting because you can see the grounds of the castle and you can see the area it's in and that's all still interesting uh, but the authentic original ones there's nothing quite like walking through some of these old buildings you know and the, the old castles you stand near the near the windows and you can see the floors all worn where you know for hundreds of years people have have stood there and looked out that window and it's actually worn a groove in the floor you know or the old stairs the old wooden stairs that have been worn big grooves been worn in the stairs from people walking up and down it for hundreds of years so that's what that's what i try and get so that's why i like this area is because these buildings are all original there's a few missing of course over the years you know a lot of these old wooden buildings don't survive because of fire or earthquake or just old age you know some of them fall down or get pulled down get replaced with new ones but uh, always nice to see the old ones we'll just finish up here by having a look on the other side of the river there's a couple over there haven't been quite as well looked after over the years but they're beautiful and old and original so it's a nice scene to finish on isn't it so I hope you enjoyed that. More videos coming soon.